A piece of relationship advice. Toastmaster Annie, a piece, a, a piece of relationship, relationship advice. Toastmaster Annie, over to you. Let me start off with a simple request. May I borrow two things from you? Your head and your heart. Just for five to seven minutes. Don't get me wrong, I do have mine. And lately I learned that my head and heart are actually a married couple. Because during the lockdown, they live together and they fight. You know what I mean? My head screamed. Look at the numbers, we're doomed. My heart said, relax, we'll be fine. You're unrealistic. You're over-exaggerating. As their private therapist, I said, you both have problems. You see, my head is deteriorated, analytical, and opinionated, which is from my mother's side. My heart is artistic, intuitive, and idealistic, which is from my father's side. Well, first, let me introduce to you my parents. My mom undoubtedly is the head of the house. She lives in Beijing, but is on top of everything that happens here in Canada. Just give mom a call. I'll get the latest about the COVID cases, vaccine status, and toilet paper shortages. Does mom work for the city remotely? Besides all that, mom runs the house, worries about everything, and does all the talking. Guess who is her loyal audience? My dad. Mom often ends her lecture by asking dad, Why didn't you say anything? Dad would say, I was uh, listening. My dad is the heart of the house. He only waits in on significant matters. Otherwise, he stays calm and quiet. He's more so these years because he's losing his hearing. But that pair of hearing aids are rarely used. Dad, why? I choose when to hear. That's how I've survived with your mom. My dad is an artist in Chinese calligraphy. Often, he'd lose himself in his artwork. It's not as relaxing as you think. When practicing it, you have to sit straight, hold the brush tight, and keep your arm up. Try it and hold that position for an hour. Mom was strongly against it. It hurts your back and damages your eyesight. What's the point? You should try it. It calms your mind and clears your soul. Really? So, which soul? Left or right? They used to argue over everything when I was this tall. But now they truly appreciate each other. Dad values mom's effort at worrying about things. And mom realized that dad has a point. Sometimes. To support dad's passion, mom learned the traditional silk and squirrel art mounting technique. So now all the beautiful artworks on their wall are from the combined effort of two artists, mom and dad, the head and heart of the house. Dear friends, this pandemic has put everything into a stress test, including our relationship. 
Mom and Dad choose to lean on each other for wisdom and for joy. How romantic! A lot to learn for my husband. Well, what I have to work on first is the couple who live inside of me, my head, and my heart. The right answer, or the wise answer, makes sense or feel good. These are the table topics they often run into. Head and heart are like two. Distinctively different people who got together via an arranged marriage. The maturity of their relationship, however, runs the house inside, and impacts everything outside. Do you have such a couple in you? Have you ever overheard their arguments? Maybe they need a little help. Maybe they should grow and develop like a real couple, to find their harmony, like mom and dad. After all, their togetherness is our ultimate source of wisdom and joy. Have you spent time nurturing this relationship as their therapist? Well, I have, and my goal is to stop being unrealistic or over exaggerating. Amid this pandemic, mom and dad's advice to me is: Don't let your family fall apart. Don't let yourself fall apart. Fellow Toastmasters and friends. Take good care of the relationships of your life, starting with the one inside. Contest chair. Thank you, Toastmaster Annie. One minute for the judges. Thank you, judges. Our next contestant, Toastmaster.